Talmud Bavli, Gemara Brachot, Perik Shishi, Chapter 6, Daf Mem Dalit Aleph, Chapter, uh, page 44a, Mishnah. Heviu lefanav maliach tchila, they brought before him a salted food first, ufati mo, and bread was with it, mevarech al hamaliach upoteret apart, he recites a blessing on the salted food, and it discharges for the bread. Shapatvela law, the bread is subordinate to the bread is subordinate that is subordinate to the salted food. Zehaklal, this is the rule, Koshehui Kave Imo Tvela, whatever is primary and subordinate is with it. Beverechal Haikar Upater Etatvela, one recites the blessing on the primary food and it discharges for the subordinate food. Gemara, umi kamidi dehavei maliach ikar ufat tefila. But is there such a thing that the salted food is primary and bread is subordinate? Amar Rav Acha Barei de Rav Avira Amar Rav Ashai Ashi Rav Acha the son of Rav Avira said in the name of Rav Ashi beochle peirot genasar shanu. The mentioner refers to those who are eating the fruit of genasar. Uh, the fruits of Genasar are exceptionally sweet. Uh, Genasar is a region around the Kinneret, that's what Rashi says. Kinneret is Genasar, is Genasar because its fruit are sweet like the sound of a Kinnor, the harp. Ama Rabba Bar Bar Khan, Rabba Bar Bar Khan said, Ki Hava Azlinan Batre de Rabbi Yochanan, the Mecho Pira Genosar. When would we, when we would follow Rabbi Yochanan to eat the fruits of Genosar? Ki Havinan Be Mea, when we were a hundred, when we were a hundred. Menaktinan Le Lecho Chad Bechad Asara Asara, we would take for him each one of us ten, that is ten fruits. Uh, so this is um, so the hundred when we were a hundred is a hundred people accompanying Rabbi Yochanan, and each one would take ten, which would be a total of a thousand fruits. and when we were ten, menaktinan kol We would take for him each one of us one hundred. And every hundred of them were contained in a basket of three se'ah. And Rabbi Yochanan would eat them and swear that he had not eaten food. Can it enter your mind? Uh, food, meaning how could one think that the fruits of Genosar are not considered food? Ela Ema Mezona rather say sustenance. That is, they satisfied his, un- his hunger, that's what Rashi says. So these fruits were so delicious that one would retain his appetite for them even after eating them in large quantities. Rabbi Abahua Hil Ad Dahavas Sharik. Le Dudva Ma'apute, Rabbi Abahu ate until a fly would slip off his forehead. Meaning that uh, when he ate these sweet and fatty fruits, it, uh, his pores would ooze oil from the fruit and the skin of his face glowed, and his be- skin became so smooth that a fly would slip off his forehead. The Rav Ami, the Rav Asi, Havu Achle Ad Denatu, Mazayehu, and Ravami and Ravasi would eat them until their hair would fall out. Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish Hava Achil Ad Damarid, Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish would eat them until he, be, until he became delirious. The Amalehu Rabbi Yochanan Lidve Nisia, whereupon Rabbi Yochanan would notify the house of Nasi, the Hava Meshat Ale Rabbi Yoda Nisia, the Alush Balushe Abt. Abatre and Rabbi and <coughs> Rabbi Yehuda Hanasi would send a troop of men after Reb, 
afterwards, after Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish, or Maitei Le Levitei, and they would bring him to his house. Ki Ata Rav Dimi Ama, when Rav Dimi came, <coughs> he said, that is, he came uh, to Babel from Eretz Israel. Ir achat lo la Yanai hamelech bahar hamelech. One city that King Yanai had in Har hamelech, shehayu moti mimena shishim ribo sifle tarit, from which they would take out six hundred thousand bowls of tuna. Le kotetze to any to enim to to the fig pickers me'erev shabbat le'erev shabbat from me'erev shabbat le'erev shabbat from one Friday to the next, meaning there were so many working, uh, uh, picking the figs, that uh, it, it took all this amount of food to feed them. Ki ata ravin amar, when ravin came, that is, he came from uh, Eretz Israel to Babel, ilan echad hayalo layanai hamelech behar hamelech, one tree that King Yanai had in har hamelech, Shehayu Moridi Mimenu Arbaim Se'a goes a lot, from which they would bring down 40 Se'a of young pigeons. Mishalosh Berechot Bechodesh from three broods per month. Ki ata Rabbi Yitzchak Amar, when Rabbi Yitzchak came, he said, Ir achat haita Eretz Yisrael, there was one city in Eretz Yisrael. So Rabbi Yitzchak also came to er- from Eretz Yisrael to Babel. Ir achat haita Eretz Yisrael, there was this one city in Eretz Yisrael, the Gufnit. Shema and Gufnit was, was its name. Shehayu Bashmanim Zukot Achim Kohanim, in which there were eighty pairs of brothers who were Kohanim. Nesuim Bishmanim Zukot Achayot Kohanot, married to eighty pairs of sisters who were Kohanot. Uvadku Rabbanan Misura Vaad Nahardea Velo Ash Gehu. And the rabbi searched from Sura until Nahardea and did not find uh, anything similar. Bar Mib Bar Mibnate de Rav Chista, other than the daughters of Rav Chista, de Havul Nesivan le Rami Bar Chama Olamar Ukva Bar Chama, who were married to Rami, the son of Chama, and Mar Ukva, the son of Chama. The Afal Gav Dinehu Havul Kana Inhu Lo Havul Kane. And although the sisters were Kohanot, the brothers were not Kohanim. Amarav, Rav said, Kol Silda Shein Ba Melach Ena Silda. Any meal without salt is not a meal. Amar Rabbi Chia bar Ava Amar Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Chia bar Ava said in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, any meal without a soup is not a meal. Mishnah. Achal on avim or te'enim verimonim, if one ate grapes or figs or pomegranates, mevarecha acharei hem shalosh brachot, he recites after them the three blessings. That is, uh, three blessings of Berkat Amazon. Divrei Rabban Gamliel, these are the words of Rabban Gamliel. Mimomrim, but the sages say, Bracha achat me'en shalosh, uh, only one of the three. Uh, this one of the three is detailed in the Gemara. Rabbi Akiva Omer, Rabbi Akiva says, Afilo achal shelek vehu mezono, even if one ate a cooked vegetable, vegetable, but it is his sustenance, Mevarech alav shalosh brachot. He recites upon it the three blessings, uh, the three blessings being Birkat Amazon. Hashotem aim litzma'o, one drinks water to for his thirst. Mevarech shakol niyel bitvaro, he recites the blessing, uh, everything that came into being through his word. Rabbi Tarfon Omer, Ore nefashot verabba beches he recites the one who creates numerous living things and their deficiencies. Gemara. My time at the Rabban Gamliel. What is the reason uh, about Rabban Gamliel? So Rabban Gamliel 
wrote that uh, in the Mishnah that you do the the three blessings, Berkat Amazon, after grapes, figs, or pomegranates, or any of the, that would be not just those, but any of the seven species of Eretz Israel, which is wheat, barley, grape, fig, pomegranate, uh, olives, and dates. Dichtiv, Eretz Chita, Usa Ora, Ugomer, for it's written the land of wheat, barley, etc. Uchtiv, Eretz Asher, Lo, Bis, Bimis, Kenut. Uh, and it's written a land in which you will eat bread without poverty. And it is written, and you will eat, and you will be satisfied, and you shall bless Hashem your God. And the sages say, Eretz Hifsik Ha'inyan, a land interrupts the subject, meaning uh, in the Meaning in the verse there is the word there is the usage of the word eretz and that's it classified as an interruption. Ha Hamai here, uh, what's the law? Rav Chista Ma Rav Chista says Al Haaretz Al Peroteha. For the land and for its fruits. The Rabbi Yochanan Amar Rabbi Yochanan says, "Al haaretz v'al haperot." For the land and for the fruits. Amar Rav Amram, Rav Amram said, "The law plige, and they do not disagree." Halan, this is for us. The halehu. This is for them, meaning meaning those in Eretz Israel would recite simply for the land and the fruits, whereas those outside Israel would recite for the land and its fruits, so that the words are not misconstrued as a reference to the fruits of their own land. Matkif la Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak. Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak objected to this. In Huachle va'anan Madarachin, they, the people in Eretz Israel, eat, and we, uh, who live in Bavel, uh, and we recite a blessing. What does that mean? It means uh, the expression Piroteha, its fruits. Uh, Referring specifically to the fruits of Eretz Israel is not an appropriate conclusion for people in Bavel who do not eat those fruits. That's what Rashi says. Rather, in Bavel we conclude Hapirot, the fruits, an expression that encompasses all the fruits regardless of where they grow. Ela Efuch, rather reverse. Rav Chista, Ma Rav Chista says. Al haaretz v'al haperot for the land and for the fruits. Rabbi Yochanan Amar, and Rabbi Yochanan says, Al haaretz v'al v'al peroteha for the land and its fruits. Amar Rabbi Yitzchak bar Rabbi Dimi Mishum Rabbeinu. Rabbi, so now we're at the top of Mem Dalid Bed. Rabbi Yitzchak bar Rabbi Dimi said in the name of our teacher. Al habeya the almine kupra on egg and on kinds of meat, but chila mevarecha kol ve'ulvasof or in a In the beginning, one recites the blessing shehakol, and at the end, borei nefeshot rabo vechesranan. Aval yarkalo, but vegetables you don't do that. The Rabbi Yitzchak Amar, but Rabbi Yitzchak says. A filo yarka, even after vegetables, you say for in a fashot. Aval maya lo, but water, you don't. The Rav Papa Amar and Rav Papa says, A filo maya, even after drinking water, you say for in a fashot. Mar Zutra, Abid Karav Yitzhak Bar Abdimi, Mar Zutra acted in accordance with the ruling of with Rav Yitzhak Bar Abdimi, the Rav Shimi Bar Asha, Ashi. Avid Karav Yitzchak and Rav Shimi Barashi acted in accordance with Rav Yitzchak. Vesimanach had kitre utre kechad. And your mnemonic, 
uh, one the yon mnemonic is one as two and two as one <coughs> Amar Ravashi, Ravashi said, Ana zimna dehi mit karna avidna kehulhu. I, at the time that I remember, act in accordance with all of them. Tanan, we learned in a Mishnah. Ko shataun bracha la harab taun bracha la fanav. Whatever requires a blessing after it requires a blessing before it. Veyesh shataun bracha la fanav ein taun bracha la harab. But there is something that requires a blessing before it and does not require a blessing after it. And this is fine according to Rabbi Yitzhak Barav Dimi to exclude vegetables. The Rabbi Yitzhak Maya, according to Rabbi Yitzhak, it excludes water. But according to Rabbi Papa, what does it exclude? To exclude mitzvot or performing mitzvot meaning that you recite a blessing before you do a mitzvah, but not afterwards. We'll leave name Arava, but according to Westerners, meaning those who live in Eretz Israel, Devata demisak, demisalke, demisalke tafilayehu, uh, who, after they remove their tulin, mevachaya shekirishonu b'mitzvotomitzi v'no lishma chukav, they recite the blessing who sanctified us with his commandments and has commanded us to observe, to observe his decrees. La apuke mai. So, what is the Mishnah meaning to exclude? La apuke rechane means to exclude fragrances. Meaning that you say bracha before you smell fragrance, fragrance but not afterwards. Amar Rabbi Yanai, Amar Rabbi, Rabbi Yanai said in the name of Rabbi. Any that is the size of an egg, any egg is better than it. Sorry, an egg is better than I'll, I'll just start that again. Anything that is the size of an egg, meaning any food the size of an egg, an egg is better than it, meaning there is, meaning there is no food the size of an egg that is as healthy as an egg. He atta Ravina Ma, when Ravin came, uh, he said, meaning he came from Babel to Eret, uh, from to Babel from Eretz Israel. Tava be be atta mikul galta mishita kaisei sulta. A lightly roasted egg is better than six kaisei of fine flour. Ki atta Rav Dimi Amar. When Rav Dimi came, he said. Tava bayata mikul galta mishita a lightly roasted egg is better than six. Mitav mitavita mearba of a roasted egg, meaning a fully roasted egg, is better is better than four. Mivul shalta a boiled egg kol shehu kaveta beta tova hemenu levar mi bis mi bisra. Any that is the size of an egg, the egg is better than it except for meat. Rabbi Akiva Amir, Afilu Achal Shelek Chule. Rabbi Akiva says, even if he ate a cooked vegetable, that's from the Mishnah, but is there such a thing as a vegetable for sustenance? Amar Ravashi, Ravashi said, They taught in regard to a stock of cabbage, uh, which is eaten for sustenance. Tanu Rabbanan, Rabbi's taught in a brisa, Techol yafelish la shinaim bekashe livne me'aim. Spleen is beneficial for teeth and harmful for the intestines. Kareshin kashin le la shinaim yafin livne ma'ayim. Leeks are harmful for the teeth and beneficial for the intestines. Kol yerek chay morik. Any raw vegetable uh, makes someone pale. 
Kol, Katana, Maktin, and anything small, that is, not fully grown, anything small impedes growth. The Chol Nefesh, Meshibet Et HaNefesh, and all life revitalizes life. Meaning, anything that was once alive and eaten whole, such as a small fish, uh, they restore vitality. The Chol Karov Nefesh, Meshiv Et HaNefesh, and all that is near to life revitalizes life meaning the meat of an animal which is located near the animal's life source, uh, which will be discussed further. Keruv lamazon, cabbage is for sustenance. Utradin lirfu'a, and beets are for healing. Oi lo labait shehalefet, or beret betocho, woe to the house, meaning a stomach, through which turnips pass. Amar ma, tocho yafeh lashinayim eve kasher libnei ma'ayim. Spleen is beneficial for the teeth and harmful for the intestines. Amar tekante, what is the remedy? Nil asei venish dayayim. He should chew it and spit it out. Kerei shin kashin lashinayim eve yafeh libnei ma'ayim. Leaks are harmful for the teeth and beneficial for the intestines. Maitikante, what is the remedy? Lish, lish le kinho venivlinho. You should cook them and cook them until they're soft and then swallow them. You swallow them without chewing. Kol yerech haimorek, any raw vegetable pails. Amar Rabbi Yitzchak, Rabbi Yitzchak said, Bisuta Rishona Shalachar Hakaza, in the first meal after bloodletting. Um, that's when it applies. Amar Rabbi Yitzchak, Rabbi Yitzchak said, Kol Harachel Yerek Kodem, Arba Shabot, Asur Lasaper Hemenu, whoever eats vegetables, it is forbidden to speak with him before four hours, uh, meaning the first four hours of the day. My tama, what's the reason? Mishum recha, because of the odor. Odor emitting from one who ate vegetables is harmful for people who have an empty stomach. Uh, and people generally eat, their shab, eat the first meal of the day during the fourth hour of the day. And they should not speak prior to that time. They should not speak prior to that time with one who has eaten vegetables. The Amar Rabbi Yitzchak Rabbi Yitzchak said, "Asul le Adam sheyachal yerek chay kodem arba shaot." It is forbidden for one to eat raw vegetables before the first four hours of the day. Ameima Omar Zutra Rav Ashi Havu Yatzvei. Ameima Omar Zutra Rav Ashi was sitting. Ayet hu kamei hu yerek chay kodem arba shaot. They brought before them their vegetables prior to four hours. Amaima Rav Ashi Achu, Amaima Rav Ashi ate, but Marzutra Lo Acha, Marzutra did not eat. Amule, Amaima Rav Ashi said to Marzutra, Mai Tateh, what's your reasoning for not eating? Dama Rav Yitzhak, Kol Ha'achel Yerek Kodem Arba Shalot, Asur Lasaper Hemenu Mishom Recha. Because Rabbi Yitzhak said, whoever eats vegetables, it is forbidden to speak with him before four hours because of the odor. But we have been eating, uh, we've been eating vegetables. And you have been speaking with us. <coughs> he said to them, I hold like the other uh, Rabbi Yitzhak, an, another statement. The Amar Rabbi Yitzchak for Rabbi Yitzchak said, "Asul le Adam sheochal yerechai kodem arba shalot." It is forbidden for one to eat raw vegetables before the first four hours. Uh, meaning, so Rashi says, although I disagree with Rabbi Yitzchak's statement that a vegetable odor is harmful to others on an empty stomach, I do agree with his other statement that the vegetables themselves are harmful. 
to the eater. Kolkatan Maktin, anything small impedes growth, or anything not fully grown impedes growth. Amar Rav Hista, Rav Hista said, Afilu Dagyabar Zuza, even to, even for a kid with a zuz. <coughs> meaning a, uh, a young goat that is not, that is, uh, meaning still a young goat. The law Amram, Amaran Ella de Lake Bay River, this was stated only when the animal did not attain a quarter, meaning a quarter of its size. Aval it Bay River Lake Lamba, but if it attained a quarter, meaning it grew to a quarter of its size, there is no concern. Kol nefesh, meshiv nefesh, all life revitalizes our life. Amar Papa, Rav Papa said, Afilu gilda, gildane deve gile. Even the gildana fish that are by the reeds, meaning they're in a swamp by the reeds, even these very tiny fish are healthy and revitalize life. Uh, this is not a contradiction to the small animals because the gildana, even when they're tiny, they are fully grown. Kol hakarov la nefesh meshiv et ha nefesh, and all that is near to life revitalizes life. Amar Rav Acha Bar Yaakov, Rav Acha Bar Yaakov said, Unka, um, this is uh, the throat, meaning the meat of the throat. Amar le Rava Lashamaye, Rava said to his attendant, Ki maitit li unsa tibis. Visra, when you bring me a piece of meat, meaning from the butcher, trach ba'aiti li mehecha demikrav levei beruch. Take the trouble and bring me from that which is located close to the place of blessing, meaning uh, a cut of meat from the throat, and uh, make a blessing when the animal is slaughtered so it's close to the place of blessing. Kruv lamazon utradin lirfua, cabbages for sustenance and beets are for healing. Kruv lamazon ein ve lirfua lo, cabbages for sustenance but not for healing. Vahatanya, but it was taught in a brisa, shisha dvari miraf in etachole mechalyo urfu atan refua, six things cure a sick person from his illness. And the cure is a cure, meaning a permanent cure. The Elohen, uh, these are Kruv, cabbage, Utradin, beets, or Umei, uh, Umei Avesh, Sisin, uh, that's the water of dry penny royal, uh, a cooked, Rashi says, a cooked penny royal dish. Rashi here maintains that water is that water of dry penny royal refers to penny royal soup in the same vein as water of beets and water of vegetables uh, mentioned in 39a. Uh, a text reads Devash, honey, which would make the which would make honey the fourth food item. This would raise the total number of foods in the brasa to seven rather than six. contention about Dvash actually being Yavesh, which is dry. Um, the Keva and the Moor, the Heret and the Womb, the Yoteret, Hakaved and the Diaphragm. Ela, Ema, Kruv, Af, Lamazon, rather say cabbage is also for sustenance. Sustenance. Uh, this is in contrast to beetroot, which I, which only heals. 
Oy lo levait shehalefet overt betocho woe to the house, through which turnips pass, meaning to the stomach, uh, through which turnips pass. Aini is this so, meaning are uh, turnips that harmful. Bahama le rava le shamaye, why said rava to his attendant, ki chazid lifta beshuka, when you see turnips in the marketplace, lo tema li bemai kar. Karhat Rifta, do not ask me, with what will you eat your bread today? A meaning, uh, assume automatically that I want turnips, because, and hence we see, uh, hence we we see that turnips are healthy, according to Rabba. Amar Abaye, Abaye said, Nibli Basar, without meat. This is turnips cooked without meat. Verava mar nibli yain. This is turnips eaten eaten without drinking wine. It's Mari was stated. Rav amar nibli basar. Rav said without meat. Turnips cooked without meat. Ushmol amar nibli eitzim. Shmuel said without wood. Meaning turnips that are eaten without wood. Meaning they were not cooked extensively. The Rabbi Yochanan Amar Mibli Yain, Rabbi Yochanan said without wine, uh, meaning without drinking wine afterwards. Amar le Rava le Rav Papa, Rava said to Rav Papa, Sudani beer brua. So Rav Papa was a brewer of date beer. So Rava said to Rav Papa, Sudani beer brua. Anan Tavrinan la Bivisra, the Khamra, we weaken the turnip with meat and wine. Atun de lona fish lehu Khamra bemai Tavritu la. You who do not have much wine, what do you weaken it with? Amale Rapapa said to him, Betsive, with wood. Kiha de Vitehu de Rav Papa, as the wife of Rav Papa. I uh, mean, this is what she did. Batar demivashla la tavra la bitmanan ufe parsiata. After she would cook the turnip, she would weaken it with 80 large logs. Meaning she would weaken the potency of it by burning 80 large logs under the pot of turnips. Tana Rabbanan, the rabbi uh, taught in a baraisa, Dag Katan Maliach, uh, regarding a small salted fish, Pa'amim Shehu Memit, there are times when it can kill, um, Bishiv'a, on the seventh, meaning on the seventh day of it being salted, Bishiva Asar, on the seventeenth day, Uve esrim veshiva, and on the twenty seventh day, the amre la, and some say, the esrim ushosha, on the twenty third day. Velo amaran ela bimitve velo mitve, and this was stated only when it's roasted uh, and not roasted, meaning it's only par- only partially roasted. Aval mitve shapir late lamba, but when it is thoroughly roasted, there is no problem. Ud lo mitve shapir lo amaran ela de lo shata batre shikra, and when it is not thoroughly roasted, it was stated only when one did not drink beer after it. Aval shata batre shikra late lamba, but if he drank beer after it, there is no problem. Vehashote maim litz litz mao vechole, back in the Mishnah, one who drinks water. Uh, for his thirst, uh, in regard with blessing, Asher Konye Bidvaro. Le Apuke Mai, what does it exclude? Meaning, um, one who does not recite Shakol when drinking water, uh, apart from quenching his thirst. So la pukemai, what does it exclude? Ama rav idi baravin, rav idi baravin said la pukemai. It excludes the person. I'll just to finish the name. 
on the next page. De chan de chanakte umta, who is being choked by a piece of meat, and therefore is drinking the water just to dislodge the meat. And he's not actually drinking it for sustenance. He's um, not deriving any physical pleasure from the water, and therefore no blessing is recited.